Good afternoon, sports fans. My name is Taylor Redmond from CFRU 93.3 FM at the UC of Guelph. Today on the sports show, I'll be interviewing Cassie Campbell Pascal, two time Olympic gold medalist, and Ronald McDonald, health Chili champion. Cassie was an outstanding hockey player and was inducted into the Canada Sports Hall of Fame in 2007. She is here today to support the Ronald McDonald House Day of Change on Wednesday, October 7th. Welcome, Cassie. Thank you, Taylor. Cassie, what was it like to play for Team Canada at the Olympics and bring home the gold medals? How did that make you and your teammates feel? Well, Taylor, it was pretty amazing. i got to tell you, it's, um, at the time it was pretty much, you know, you take your best day you've ever had and you multiply it by a thousand. And since then, I've been able to have a family and, and you know, that's my best moment. But um, to be able to, to win gold, and in particular in 2002 when, you know, we beat the American Dream Team, and, and they really on paper should have beat us, and, and they did so eight times in a row during that season. And, you know, to watch your teammates get the gold medal and, and to play a team sport and to go through challenges as a group and overcome them, and, and, and then to watch, you know, some of the kids that I grew up teaching in hockey school make the 2006 Olympic team and to be part of that as an older player and... and and to, to be part of such a great team, it's a, a real tremendous feeling. But I think, you know, not knowing growing up that I could play women's hockey at the Olympic Games, never thinking that was going to be a possibility, to have that possibility and to be able to win, um, it's definitely uh, one of the highlights of my career, and it's, it's great to see the women's game come a long way. Thank you. When you retired from hockey in 2006, you became the first woman to do other commentary on Hockey Night Canada. I love watching hockey. What is it like to be on that great hockey show? Well, that was an honor. I had no idea really what I was going to do after I retired. And I'm actually sitting in the Scotiabank Saddle Dome right now at the Flames, uh, waiting for the Flames to come on and practice, getting ready for a big game to tomorrow night, the, okay. the first night of the NHL. And you know, when I got the call to do an audition for Hockey Night in Canada, I jumped at the opportunity, and I thank Joel Darling for that opportunity. And, um, you know, just to be in the rink, right? You know, I usually stand in the Zamboni area or I'm in studio, and, you know, to sort of be able to watch a game for a living and get paid for it, it's a, it's a pretty incredible experience. And, you know, to move from one great team when I was playing hockey for Team Canada and, and, and club hockey, whether it was the Toronto Arrows or the Calgary Overall Extreme, to to move into another great team atmosphere. I was pretty fortunate, and it's a, it's a great group of people on Hockey Night in Canada when it, when I was with CBC, and even now uh, with Rogers Sportsnet. Why well, is Don Cherry really like? Maybe you could introduce me to him someday. <laughs> well, sure. I, I'm, I'll, uh, I don't know. I don't get to Toronto too much um, because I mostly do the Western games and, and some, you know, I do a game in Pittsburgh this year, but... Uh, he's he's a great character, and, and, you know, Taylor, one thing people don't know is that he was a huge supporter of women's hockey. His first wife, Rose, who, who passed away um, from cancer, she was a big supporter of ours, and we actually wore a rose on our jersey at the 97 World Championships to to show some support for him and his family. And, um, you know, he's a, he's a great man, and he, he uh, says what he thinks on the air, and I think that's what kind of makes him so special. And and um, he's a, a good person to be around, and he's taught me a lot. And, and one thing I, I like about Don is his honesty. And I think, Taylor, if you ever got a chance to meet him, you'd be pretty excited. Yes. <laughs> Cassie, in August 2014, you presented the Canadian Women's Hockey League Human Training of the Year Award for the Prime Minister. How did that make you feel? Yeah, you know, that was it's pretty special. Um, you know, I... I was fortunate enough to be inducted into the Order of Hockey Canada with Wayne Gretzky and Jean Bel the late Jean Beliveau and um, Gordie Howe and, you know, so many great athletes. And to be considered in, in that group was a tremendous honour for me. And, and then, you know, for the Prime Minister to present us all with the Queen's Diamond Jubilee, it was a real surprise, I think, to all of us. And um, a, a definitely a special moment. My family got to be there. And you know, it's it's something that I'm really proud of. Thanks. Your husband, Brad Pascal, is in the hockey business also. Can you tell us a little bit about him and your children? 
Well, my husband's won more Olympic gold medals than I have. He, he's uh, had the opportunity to win three. He was part of our men's um, operations staff for Team Canada at the 2002 Olympics. And, of course, 2006, it didn't go so well, but then 2010 and 2014. And, you know, now he he works for the Calgary Flames as their assistant general manager, and he's really excited to have that opportunity. And, you know, we're excited as a family to be part of the Calgary Flames organization. And um, my daughter, Brooke, is, is going to be five years old soon, and she's just started kindergarten. And she is the the absolute love of our life and our number one priority. And she's a little firecracker and a social butterfly. And, and she uh, skates and, and she does gymnastics and she plays a lot of sports, but she also likes dance. And she's at that age where we just kind of try and, and give her a taste of, of every opportunity that she can have in life. So we're having a fun time as a family right now. And, and I'm lucky to have a, a supportive husband who loves hockey and who's who's in the game and, and understands how much time sometimes we have to be apart. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Cassie, you played hockey for the University of Guelph in 2011. You received an honorary degree for the, the university. Why are you proud to be a Griffin? You know what? I, I, I had a real fun time. I, I don't get an opportunity to get back to the campus as much as I'd like, but I support a women's hockey player every year and, um, I got an opportunity to speak to the women's program last year when they were here in Calgary for the, the CIS Nationals, and it was a great honor. And, you know, I'm proud to be a Guelph Griffin, and I'm proud to have played and won an OUA championship with that team in 1995. And it was one of the best teams I ever played on, and some of my best friends played on that team. And um, I, I just loved the school. I, I just had a, a remarkable university career. It was just a lot of fun. And, and, you know, I have so many great memories and, um, you know, to be recognized by the university was totally unnecessary, but it was really an honor and, and it was humbling and, you know, knowing that it was such a big part of my life and, and yet they sort of still feel that I'm a big part of theirs. So um, I'll always support the University of Guelph Griffin's women's hockey team and, and I know that um, their head coach, Rachel Flanagan, is doing a great job. Thanks. Cassie, hockey is your passion, and you have played it worked on Hockey Night Camp with great success. What advice about sports of life would you give to any of these students and our best Olympians? I think, you know, to always do your best, you know, just to have fun in life and follow your passions. You know, obviously, Taylor, you have a passion to be a broadcaster, and you're following that passion. And for me, it was playing women's hockey and to be involved in hockey and to know that you have to work hard and you have to be respectful of people and um, you have to be humble. I think those are all characteristics of, of great leaders and people who are successful. And, you know, it's not necessarily about being in the public eye or being famous. It's about being good to people around you. And and I I think the number one thing for success and, and you know, is just simply to work hard and, and know that you just can't take things for granted. And so those, that's the advice that I would probably give to, to young kids. Thank you. Cassie, how did you get involved in Ronald McDonald House Charities and why? Well, I've been involved with the Ronald McDonald House Charities for 20 plus years. And uh, when I lived in Ontario, I volunteered and and uh, did a little bit of fundraising. And then when I moved to Calgary 15 years ago, um, I did a lot of fundraising for the house here and, and raised uh, about $3.5 million dollars in 11 years for the Ronald McDonald House in Southern Alberta. And I had a relationship as an athlete with McDonald's and, and they introduced me to the charity and they also um, gave my cousin, uh, Matthew Campbell, who's passed away from cerebral palsy in 1998, my first Olympic year, they gave his school a, a snoozling room, which is a, a stimulation room for kids who are, I guess, severely intellectually and, and physically challenged. So. You know, it was, it was a way for me to give back and say thank you to them, but I, I fell in love with the charity and, and what it does for families who have to move away from home uh, after they, they find out that they have a sick child and they have to stay in, in cities that, that have, you know, big children's hospitals, and and um, it's it's just a, a wonderful place for these families. Thanks. I read that there are 14 Mount McDonald houses across Canada. What does RMAC do for families? Yeah, there are 14 houses. Good research, Taylor. There are 14 houses uh, across the country, and, and they all provide services uh, for families who move away from home and their sick kids. And 
you know, you can imagine you get the diagnosis of maybe your child has cancer or some other severe illness and you life stops and you literally move away from home and you have to stay at the children's hospital anywhere from, you know, a night to 365 days or whatever the case may be. And so the Ronald McDonald houses, you know, provide rooms for these families where parents can sleep and their children can sleep and um, in safe surroundings and sterile surroundings in some cases. They provide meals for the families. They also provide services for, you know, maybe the siblings who have to move away from home and are missing school. Um, they provide teaching services. They generally just provide support for a family who is facing a difficult time, and, and it also allows them to be with other families who are maybe going through the same thing, and they just try to make it as comfortable as possible for families who, you know, are having pretty tough conversations every day with doctors, and they have to make important decisions for their child, so they they just basically try to make it a little bit easier. That's great. Uh, Cassie, last week you were in Toronto to support IMEC. Could you tell us about that event at Rise Point to you? Well, basically, October 7th, which is tomorrow, um, is going to be the first ever day of change in Canada for McDonald's and Ronald McDonald House Charities. And, you know, we've, we've all been into the restaurants and you see the coin boxes beside the cash cashier or you see the coin boxes as you go through the drive through And what people don't know is those coin boxes are... Uh, responsible for raising over $3 million for the Ronald McDonald House charities across the country. And, you know, McDonald's does a great su- great, great job supporting all the houses, but they can't do it on their own. And, and so there's a constant need to fundraise. And over 20,000 families use the Ronald McDonald Houses across the country. And unfortunately, we have to turn away about 3,000 families. So there still is a need for more funds to upgrade some of the houses to to make some of them bigger, to provide bigger and better services. And those coin boxes, you know, whether you put in five cents, 25 cents, a loony or a toonie, um, they're really valuable when it comes to the Ronald McDonald House Charities. What is Day of Change and how can we get involved? Well, Day of Change is, is one day a year where we're trying to maybe promote that the importance of what your spare change could mean to the Ronald McDonald Houses across the country. And it's, it's going to be October 7th, and we're just trying to encourage families and, and, you know, to maybe look around their house and pick up some spare change, whether it's in your coffee cup holder in your car or in your pocket or your wallet or your purse, and, you know, just take that change however much or, or, or little it may be and, and stop by McDonald's and put it in a coin box and, and know that you're making a huge difference in families' lives as they, they face the battle of, of dealing with a, a child that's dealing with a an illness of some sort. Cassie, what type of music do you like at Kyrgyz? What are your favorite songs? We will play other radio station for you. You know what, I, I love music, Taylor, but I am like the worst for the actual words of a song or the title of the song or who actually sings the song. I, I love all music. I think living in Calgary country is kind of, um, you know, it, it's taken a bit of a priority in my life. and. I recently went to a Janet Jackson concert because I used to love Janet Jackson when I was in high school, and I just love music that's fun and makes you dance and makes you smile, and um, as far as, you know, my favorite band probably of all time is the Tragically Hip, and one of my favorite songs is Boots or Hearts, and that's because my girlfriends and I used to have fun as teenagers dancing to that song and being silly, And um, but I would definitely say probably the Tragically Hip is, is my favorite band. To our listeners out there, please support Cassie at IMEC and go to McDonald's on October 7th to donate your change for a great cause. In closing, I would like to thank Cassie Campbell from Hockey Canada and Sports Dad for being on our sports show. Thank you for being an outstanding career ambassador. It's been awesome to interview you. All right. Thank you very much, Taylor. It was nice to, to meet you over the phone.